Hey, hey, I'm gonna go back and get your kayak. It's about to float away. Yeah. Fired up the water maker for the first time today ever, which we were all a little uncertain on. So, uh, but I'll give you a quick rundown of what happens. Salt water comes in through here, goes through a primary filter here, and then feeds down this tube and into this water maker here. So it pumps seawater through here, and then this filtration system. Basically pushes the seawater through it and um, keeps the salt out. So once the salt is out, it runs out this tube here and down into our water tank. And so before you do that, though, you can turn this valve here to a little test switch. And what I did was tested it first. So making sure it's fresh. No salt. <laughs> Good to go. All right. Next on Amy and Chris go kayaking. Here we go. We just saw a sea turtle, but he went underwater right when I got my camera out. That's what they tend to do. We wanted to go check out the famous iguanas, but didn't want to go where all the tourists go. So we just scooted around to the other side of the island where we had a great view all to ourselves. This species is called rock iguana and is protected by Bahama law, although we hear some people do eat them. So we're going to head down there and tuck on the west side of Long's Key for a few days. So we've really enjoyed the Allen's Key and um, I hope sometime all of you will get to see it as well. Not sure if we'll get to sail much today. There's not very much wind at all, so we'll see. But it sure is nice to be out here. It's pretty warm. Sorry everybody up north. Pretty warm and nice. is getting up the mainsail just to give us a little balance out on the deeper water here. It's not any wind, but it gives us nice balance. Always love to have the mainsail up. Found a great spot to wait out the upcoming easterly. You may remember in a previous video, Chris caught and cleaned some conch. Now it was time to make some fritters. Fritters in the Bahamas. <laughs> we didn't have, uh, we didn't have the right ingredients, but we had most of them. Just made it work. Yeah, yeah. that's what you do. That's what you do on boat life. 
Make them come for in the Bahamas. My own thrown together recipe. That's cool. I act out to the flats. Yeah. I won't tell you where. Like mushroom people, you can't reveal your secrets never when you find you never your. Never uh -uh. Maybe you will. Maybe you can guess. Oh. only my second time ever in my life having conch fritters and Chris hit a home run. Before we knew it, three days flew by. It's time to move on again. So far, these first couple weeks in Exumas have been absolutely stunningly beautiful and also very, very, very windy. It's made for some incredible mini sailing passages through some stunning turquoise clear waters. We've been pretty rolly at the past few anchorages, but days like this make it all worth it. We arrived that afternoon into Staniel Key, which is a very popular anchorage, and we decided to try and find some civilization. We found civilization, beer, and sharks. And I pretty much had the best pina colada of my entire life here. I'm not sure how well you can actually see this, but this is what a busy anchorage looks like during the night. Yep, those are all anchor lights. We are oh. embarking on a trip to the world famous Piggy Beach. Yes where we will swim with pigs like people do on Instagram and YouTubes and stuff like that. So if you're ready, let's go get piggy with it. Na 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 na. No. Cut. <laughs> this beach and these pigs have become a worldwide attraction. While Chris and I prefer to do things off the beaten path, we figured while we were here, we better go check them out. So freaking cute, but I did think they were gonna bite me. Just give him a little pet. Once these two realized we didn't have any food for them, we all made our trek back to the other side of the beach.
That's where most of them were hanging out in the shade. And I don't blame them, it was pretty warm. Be sure to join us next time as we sail into beautiful Black Point Exumas and we meet this amazing lady who just happened to be married to a world-class sailor. I can't wait to share her story with you.